flight motives, a musical term that gets thrown around a lot when we talk about video game music. But really, music, generally, especially classical. But what is a light motive exactly? And where do we hear light motives when it comes to video game music? First things first, let's do some time travel. Here's a guy, Richard Wagner. Hello! He's over in Germany while folks like Rossini and Verdi, ciao, ciao, are doing their thing in Italy. Italian opera writing follows pretty specific structures. Usually it goes chorus, duet, happy song, sad song, chorus, musical interlude, song, chorus, maybe a dance. It's very obvious in its pattern. In fact, in arias, the operatic word for a song for one person, they started with this thing called a recitativo, where the character talks with light accompaniment underneath, followed then by the sung portion. Typically, a slow aria, a song, would then have a faster section called a cabaletta, which is a faster, more intense part of the music. Anyway, Wagner said, What the f I'm in Germany. I don't have time for that. Wagner goes ahead and coins the term Gesamtkunstwerk. But what does that mean? Basically, Wagner believed opera could be the sum of all of its parts. Yeah, it could have all aspects of the theater arts in one place. His goal was to combine music and drama into one, which is more or less where we get the term light motif. Now granted, Wagner did not coin this term by any stretch of the imagination. What? The first use of the word light motive in print was by the critic Friedrich Wilhelm Jans in describing Weber's work. Wagner did, however, employ the term better than anyone that came before him. Wait, 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 wait. You haven't fully explained what a light motive actually is. Oh, right. Thanks, Wagner. Light motive. It literally means leading motive or guiding motive. A musical motive has been defined as a short musical idea, melodic, harmonic, or rhythmic, or all three. And sorry if you hear Luna drinking a lot of water. A salient recurring figure, musical fragment, or succession of notes that has some special importance in or is Basically, all you really need to know is that it's a short musical idea, melodic, harmonic, or rhythmic, or all three, about a person, place, or thing. It is the noun of music. And although it's usually a short melody, it can also be a chord progression or even a simple rhythm. Light motives can help bind a work together into a coherent whole and also enable the composer to relate a story without the use of words, or to add an extra level to an already present story. By association, the word leitmotiv has also been used to mean any sort of recurring theme in literature or the life of fictional characters or a real person. It is sometimes also used in discussion of other musical genres, such as instrumental pieces, cinema, and of course, video game music, what we're talking about today. It's estimated that Wagner's ring cycle has more than 100 light motives. Oh my God! Representing characters, places, things, and all manner of gods and giants. As Wagner is doing his thing in Germany, a young composer in Italy, Giacomo Puccini, is heavily inspired by Wagner. Puccini and his contemporaries, Mascagni and Leon Cavallo, start writing in a Verismo style, which is all based on the true stories of the people. No more form like performances like we had in the bel canto area like i mentioned before of bellini donizetti and verdi no 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 no. now we're going to get into what makes people high drama like wagner but honestly puccini was an absolute master of it light motives are everywhere in puccini's operas scarpia's entrance in tosca when rodolfo and mimi first meet and then when mimi you know Never mind. I don't want to spoil a 100 year old opera for you. You should definitely check it out though. The point is light motives are a musical gesture that helps us connect orally to a character, place or thing or idea. It is, like I said, the noun of musical language. So what does this have to do with video game music though? Well, everything. Light motive. Motive. Every theme about a character in League of Legends? Light motive. The main theme of Elden Ring? And the final theme of Elden Ring? 
Spotlight motive. Flow from Final Fantasy XIV in all of its different variations and names. Light motive. Hearing Kefka's theme during Dancing Mad after hearing it when he makes his first entrance. Light motive. The journey light motive that starts the game in Nonsense. Light motive. Detroit becoming human as themes that play when introducing main characters and when they are in a climactic moment thematically. Light motive. Savathun's motive whenever she's discussed or we encounter her in game in Destiny. Little light. What is your truth now? That's a light motive. Serpent eating the ground from Bravely Default 2 uses the main hero motives during the final battle. All of these are light motives. These are all musical references and guides for us both emotionally and personally. So what makes light motives so effective? To the point that composers have been using them for hundreds of years at this point. Do you know what a Rolodex is? Bruh. Imagine you walk into the library in the 1990s. You probably weren't born then. And you need to find a book. Your friend happened to read you a page a little while ago. Why? I don't know. It's just an example that I'm making up on the spot. So, so you've heard of it before, but you want to take this book out for yourself. Finally, you find the book in the library, you go to the aisle, and you hold it in your hands for the first time. That's a light motive. You are connected to that book emotionally because your friend read you a page from it and made you realize that you wanted to read it, and now you get to relive that experience seeing the book for the first time with your own eyes. Again, that's a light motive. Except, we're doing all of this through the power of sound and music. It's the best feeling in the world to say, oh, oh, I know this, isn't it? That's a light motive. I've included a list down below of all the different times light motives appear in video games. I'm sure it's not conclusive, but I found it interesting. Certainly, light motives are not as cut and dry as when Wagner and Puccini were doing it. Sometimes we have main menu themes that wind up coming in game to reflect a character or a moment in a game. The main theme from the Zelda series, for instance. It eventually became synonymous with Link. So we can allude to what emotion the theme is supposed to represent when we hear it in game. The fact that light motives are so frequently used in video game music is super exciting. Not only because that is a tradition that dates back to the 1800s, still happening today in 2023, but because we know that video games and music are symbiotically connected. And one can't exist really without the other. Music aids and provides for us so much through our emotions. Light motives help us feel connected to our favorite characters, their struggles, their joys, their sadness, their adventures. Light motives allow us to bond with them. What's your favorite light motive? Definitely let me know in the comments below. And hey, here's a light motive that appears in every video. Feel free to like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.